Welcome, this is Minute with the Mayor, and we are here with our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. How are you doing today? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so first let's start off with the police headquarters. It was discussed in the last commission meeting. Any updates on what the outcome was there? So finally, we're going to get our police headquarters. The community passed a $100 million bond issue a couple years ago, and uh, that money towards this uh, project is going to be $118 million with another $20 million in soft costs. So um, the good thing is we don't have to buy real estate for this. We're going to build it right on the same site, and then when it's built, we'll be able to tear down the old building and reuse that. That, uh, that land. So right. it's exciting. We're finally going to have a, uh, a building that will withstand a Category 4 or 5 hurricane. Uh, we'll have better spacing, better, better work environment for our police department. It'll allow us to bring in new technologies and be able to implement them in order to uh, fight crime. So it's really a game changer for the city of Fort Lauderdale. Inter-Miami was also discussed at the last commission meeting yes. um, and what's going on with the progress there? So Drive Pink Stadium, which was built back in 2019, Unfortunately, like two days before we were going to have our opening game, we were told to shut down all public facilities. So the folks that uh, invested in our community, over $165 million, building a beautiful 19,000-seat uh, stadium as well as a, a football field and practice fields for our kids, creating a soccer academy and all kinds of things are happening there. But as part of the deal, they had agreed to build public facilities in the south side, 20 acres of land. We've been going back and forth, different ideas kept coming up. Certainly the first uh, proposal is a uh, far cry for what we're looking at today because we're now looking at maybe putting 16 to 19 pickleball courts there. That was never envisioned oh, before. Wow. So the plans keep changing. So there have been some delays. COVID didn't help. Uh, but we decided instead of arguing over what they should build or what they shouldn't build, we decided to uh, uh, give it to a mediator. And our former mayor, Jack Seiler, is obliged to be our, our, uh, our mediator. Oh. So we're excited. I know he'll come up with a good conclusion and we'll be able to move forward for the public. Solid update, Mayor. Thank you so much. And let's talk about the fun stuff. Spring break is in full swing. So yeah. it's all going smooth though, right? So far, uh, the kids are coming from all over the country and uh, all seem to be having a good time. And I see them all over the city. It's just a, it's a fun time for everybody. It's not just spring breakers, uh, other tourists are here. We had our St. Patrick's Day parade on Saturday and uh, it was just another great weekend here in Fort Lauderdale. I love it. Many more weekends to yes. come. Yes. All right, well, we'll see you soon. This is Minute with the Mayor. Thank, Thank you. you.